So welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about introduction to blockchain, what it is, uh, why it is introduced, some of the applications of blockchain and how it works and a lot of things like that. So let's get started. So before getting started to this about me, I'm Tushar Ocha. I'm an open source and tech enthusiast. I love to learn new technologies and build products with them. So uh, one of the technology which I have been working for past 1.5 years is blockchain development, how you can build decentralized uh, products. And that's a very ama uh, amazing thing to do. I'm working on Giftomatic and Educate app, which you might have already know. Um, and I'm also a grant recipient from Polygon DAO and Harmony. Uh, we're going to talk more about uh, blockchain development now. talk about blockchain it is a system of recording information in a way that makes it basically uh, difficult or impossible to change or hack or cheat the system essentially so um, people call it as a database decentralized database so we can have that um, definition for sure but additionally to that it was an idea proposed in 1991 for time stamping a record of data in a form of a chain so that people cannot change that data so that enables to have a data which is public in nature but people cannot still change it and it's decentralized and it have a timestamp associated to it so that's a really cool thing to do if we talk about a blockchain in a system design format so it's kind of a linked list so you, um, you can think of a linked list where each node um, have some properties so each node is called a block and each block have some properties now we're going to explore what these properties are so if you see inside a block then each block contains things like previous hash um, hash of this block nouns timestamp merkle root and some body which contains the data essentially so uh, if you talk about a hash of a block so it's basically a, a signature a cryptographic signature of all the data which is present in this block including the previous hash and the previous ha hash determines what was the address or what was the hash of the previous block right so this way we are able to link continuously one block after the other because we have the previous hash property and the block hash is generated um, by taking the previous blo uh, block hash into consideration right and there is also a timestamp which determines the time of which the block was created so the, for the very first block which we called as genesis block this previous hash would be zero but um, on moving onwards there would be a previous hash for all the blockchains right so this was about inside a block now i guess let's take a live demo on a website which simulates how blockchain works and understand the concepts like what is proof of work what is consistent mechanism how it is secure how it is distributed and a lot of things around that so let's go to, go to that website so here you can see on this website which is blockchain demo um, there is a, a simulation of a blockchain has been created for us so you can see there are multiple blocks this block is called the first block is called the genesis block and um, the previous uh, hash of this block is zero so that determines that it is a genesis block and you can see the hash of the current block this hash was determined using the previous hash the data the nouns and um, a couple more data which we talked about already so if you see uh, there are multiple blocks linked to each other and the hash of the second block is uh, the previous hash of the second block is the hash of the first block so that's how these blocks are linked um, due to these hashing things what happens is that if someone tries uh, to change some data let's say someone tries to change the data of the block 2 with some values then you can see that all the all the nodes preceding that block are now invalid so that's that's how the blockchain is being secured using this hash format so actually, uh, this is not the only thing which can make the blockchain secure. The reason is that um, our computers today are very fast and very powerful enough to generate the hash for all the previous blocks, right? So if I had to create an, a fake chain, fake uh, data chain, then I can uh, basically generate the hash of all the previous blocks as well. It's not a big deal today's computers. So for this problem, we have some consensus mechanism, um, for example, proof of work. So proof of work makes sure that you have uh, spent enough computation power and time to create each block and this block hash essentially so there is a mathematical problem which is attached to generating each block and to solve this mathematical problem your machine has to do some computation work and has to some, spend some time so in case of some blockchains it is around 10 minutes so it's going to take a lot of time for you to change some data on this block so uh, that's why we say that if a block um, has 20 or 30 blocks uh, after that then it is literally impossible for a single machine to change um, that blockchain um, 
so it's it's very hard to do it but still it's not secure enough uh, because uh, let's say someone did it then what what would you do so f- for that we have a distributed network so the copy of this blockchain the current data and the current state of the blockchain is um, is distributed across different nodes in the blockchain so different nodes means different miners so we're going to talk about what are miners and how they work in our later video but you can think of it as there are different machines c- collectively working in a peer to peer network so all this peer to peer network machines are going to validate a blockchain so they have a copy of the blockchain so if you change something then it's not good enough because you have to change at least more than the 50% of the blockchain uh, of the nodes across the world to basically get to your version of the blockchain so it's literally impossible to do so that's why it is distributed it has a proof of work mechanism that ensures you have spent enough time and computation power to create a block and it has pri- um, previous key a uh, previous hash and a current hash to do it uh, to make sure that the blockchain is connected in a sequential manner so that's how the blockchain works and it is being created in later videos we're going to talk about what nouns is what mining means and a lot of things but for the next video we're going to talk about how does cryptocurrencies work so wo you have done amazing do- job in this video you understand about blockchain how these work what is actually inside a block and how these blocks are secure in a blockchain so that's amazing in the next video we're going to talk about cryptocurrencies how the uh, how those are created why do people value why the price fluctuate and uh, why do people want to buy these cryptocurrencies so there's a lot of more content coming up in this series stay tuned and see you in the next one